Government workers breathing a collective sigh of relief tonight. This after the House passed a short-term resolution to cut federal spending by $4 billion and stop a partial shutdown of the government for weeks. But there is still a struggle ahead. Action Force Katie Lopez live from Hidalgo County Newsroom with more. Katie. It's that struggle that has Hidalgo County residents worried those much-needed benefits could soon get the axe. For 30 years, Norma Patino worked as a nurse's aide, all that time paying into her Social Security. I worked a lot, and not only one job, two jobs, whenever they would call me. While talks of a two-week government shutdown have come to a close after the House agreed to cut federal spending by $4 billion, Norma says that doesn't ease her mind. She still worries about her own Social Security benefits as the federal government looks at cutting even more. House Republicans proposed a bill that would cut $61 billion dollars from government agencies over the second half of the budget year. It's kind of scary. Norma isn't alone. David Molina says he's been working since he was 13 years old. Now he's disabled and worried some programs he depends on could be put up on the chopping block to help cut federal spending. The lumber is going to hurt all of us. All of us. We spoke to Congressman Henry Cuellar who says there are no plans to cut Social Security benefits or any other much needed programs. I think that the Social Security benefits Social Security should be kept separate from addressing uh, the, uh, you know, the issue of the deficit. The battle over the budget is far from over and has Norma and David thinking their benefits could still end up on the chopping block. Cuellar says Social Security should be discussed in the future, but as those benefits 